Hello again. This is David Lee from Hat and Cross Steampunk, makers of fine accoutrements and contraptions of false perception. This is one of those contraptions of false perception right here. Now the, the music that you're hearing is the incomparable Squirrel Nut Zippers, one of my absolute favorite uh, bands to listen to when I make steampunk art. I will rotate it a bit. Now you see, what, what you see actually is a, what appears to be a gramophone. You have the, the disc moving here, which can be turned off and on by this switch here in the back. And that gives the, uh, the perception that it, that it uh, could be playing from a, uh, a record. What we actually have, and you actually have two speakers with by it, mind you. This is a, an old um, buggy horn from a Model T port. This is an old Boy Scout bugle. And what it's actually doing is it's amplifying the sound from two headphones that are being amplified through the horn, which any metal horn-shaped object is going to do. The sound's going to go bing, 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 and, and get louder. It does add a, uh, a level of distortion, you can hear, that, that, rat, that hum and, and whatnot. Um, but I think that adds just to the effect that it's an old school um, gramophone. So I'm going I'm to unveil the magic and show you how this is really working. We uh, remove the record. And I don't know if you can get a, get this. What we simply have is a mo motor, a little hobby motor that runs off of um, three volts. We have a little hobby motor. I made a dowel rod and a piece of rubber hose so I could make this um, a place for the record to actually sit on, sit on so that it would hold it. Um, it doesn't need to have any great amount of you know, friction. It just needs to um, hold the, the CD up there and turn. So when I turn, it spins. And it's actually, I, um, my brother-in-law sent it to me, the motor actually spins at 45 RPM. So it, it spins at the proper speed um, for a 45. Then we simply have um, the earbuds I took out of the little cases here and I put them in the, the, the tube ends here. Um, so you can actually take them out. You know, but I, if I was gonna do this more permanently, which I probably will, um, I'll just take these and I'll actually glue them in so that it blocks the sound from coming back and gets them fixed in better. Because depending on how the, ear, the earbuds sit depends on the sound quality you get. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. And I took a, a music box that my wife was gracious enough to um, let me have and uh, made my space here. Um, putting the record back on, you can make my, take my fake little record needle. And voila. And it's really cool. I've actually had these two batteries in here, I think, and I've played it, I don't even know how many hours, but I've had these two batteries in there for um, at least a year and a half now. So that motor doesn't use hardly anything. Um, I may end up adding an LED light here just for more effect. But that's it. It's a, uh, it is portable. You could, in fact, walk around like so. That is the Hat and Cross Stereophonic Gramophone.